Hi folks, Ron with Pioneer here in Central Texas. So corn's at about V8 to V10 right now. Rapid growth is starting. A lot of things are happening in this field and uh, one of the things that has become a common practice here is side dressing nitrogen. One question I get every year is, does the cosmetic burn from urea on the leaves hurt my crop to where I shouldn't do it? Let's investigate and talk through that a little bit. So you'll notice this field right here has some leaf burn, especially uh, along the edges or the margins where the leaves were rolled up and you had some urea granules go down into the whirl. This was applied in the morning. Um, so a lot of times you'll see that concentration of nitrogen or, or those pellets that go down in the whirl will cause some leaf burn, some cosmetic burn like you see right here. Now, the fact that uh, the leaf is a solar panel for the corn plant, naturally you want to avoid anything like this if at all possible, but you also have to consider what the benefits are. So we know from extensive research that corn uses a lot more nitrogen later in the season than it has in the past. Say in the last 10 years or so, of some of the breeding efforts, corn's utilizing way more nitrogen post tassel than it did in the years past. And that's one of the reasons it's a good idea to think about split applications of nitrogen. Uh, I love side dress corn, and in this situation where we do see some cosmetic leaf burn, we have to ask ourselves, what's the benefit of the additional nitrogen versus the cosmetic burn on the crop? Not unlike a herbicide application, uh, a lot of times your plants have to metabolize a herbicide, maybe show a, a flashing effect, maybe stunt the plants a little bit. But the alternative is if you left the weeds and grass, you wouldn't have any yield. Same kind of goes along here with this situation. You're adding additional units of N at a proper time because if you're going to be utilizing nitrogen post tassel, you want to have a nitrogen source that's readily available on out as far as you can for the best utilization pounds of N per bushel. So what I would tell you in most instances, a little bit of cosmetic leaf burn compared to the overall benefit of split applied nitrogen with urea is definitely worth, worth the cost of the uh, cosmetic burn on the leaves. Each situation is different. So be wise about how you do it. A few things you can do to minimize that burn. A lot of times if you add a coated urea, it's a little bit less. And if you can wait on those applications until the dew's dried in the morning, a lot of times those prills or pellets won't stick to the leaves or won't stay on there as long and don't cause as much cosmetic burn. So Ron, Central Texas, field agronomist, out in your field. Hope this helps your growing season. Thank you for your business. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.